Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us for this informational webinar to learn more about the partnership between the Hill Learning Center and IU13 to be able to offer the Science of Reading short course uh, to you at a discounted price. This is the collaborative efforts between IU13 and the Hill Learning Center, um, which I'll let Emily, our partner from Hill, talk to you a little bit more about what they do. Um, if you found this webinar and found us, uh, you know what IU13 does. We are an, an educational service agency in central Pennsylvania and partner with districts to provide professional development and school improvement related supports. Hill Learning Center is a nonprofit organization based in Durham, North Carolina, uh, that provides a wide range of support for students with learning disabilities, learning differences, and ADHD, including programs for students and professional learning for educators. I'm Rachel Haverstick, uh, leading the project partnership here. I work as a curriculum and instruction specialist at the Lancaster Lebanon Intermediate Unit 13. And Emily? I'm Emily Ringler, and I am the Associate Director of Partnerships at Hill Learning Center. So how did we get here and why did we choose to partner with Hill Learning Center to offer the Science of Reading short course uh, to our constituents and those that we serve? Um, we were looking for a uh, replacement for letters professional development. So many of you know that the letters second edition sunsetted, uh, meaning that we no longer had access to purchase those books and provide the professional development in that format. At the very same time, um, Act 55 and updates to Chapter 49 uh, were issued in Pennsylvania. And so we saw an increased interest in science of reading professional development. Um, and identified an earlier version of this particular course, um, which became the backbone of our Science of Reading Academy, which was really our answer to provide professional learning around the science of reading and structured literacy as a replacement for a lot of the letters work we had done in the past. We had such great success with the Academy and with this component of the Academy uh, the Science of Reading short course as the foundation that we decided to pursue a partnership with the Hill Center. And we are very pleased to share that the Hill Center's course does help to address each of the four requirements as part of the Chapter 49 uh, PDE Structured Literacy Professional Development Requirements. Just to share a little bit more about Hill Learning Center before we jump into the specifics of the course. As I said, we're an educational nonprofit. We're based in Durham, North Carolina. We serve K-12 students who are struggling academically. Um, we were founded in 1977 um, to provide intensive remediation in reading, writing, and math for students with LDs. Over time, we've grown and expanded um, to start pushing out our research-based professional development and program for educators beyond our school and our immediate area in the Triangle in North Carolina. Um, so now we directly serve 800 students in the Triangle, but we offer virtual professional learning for educators around the country. Um, we offer professional development specifically in curriculum and methodology for students with learning disabilities, um, but also for the broader audience, we have our science of reading professional learning, which is intended for all educators to get a better understanding of how all students learn to read so that they can support their struggling students, as well as their students um, who don't need that level of intensive support that we provide in our school. Um, so that's a little bit about Hill. Now I'm going to share just a little bit about the course, um, and I'm always happy to schedule meetings with anyone who would like to learn more about it um, or see a more specific demo than what we're going to do this morning. Um, so the Science of Reading short course is divided into six modules. It also has a course introduction and an end of course assessment. The first two modules really lay the foundation um, for what we're gonna cover in the subsequent modules. So the first module is an introduction to the science of reading, talks about the five critical components of reading instruction, the simple view of reading, Scarborough's rope, Aries phases. The second module is an introduction to the key principles and characteristics of structured literacy. And then from there, we take those frameworks and we apply them to word recognition, 
and language comprehension, and then finally reading comprehension in the sixth module. It's intended as an overview. Um, so this course encapsul encapsulates more than 40 years of research, but presents that research in a way that's intended to be accessible and efficient for educators of all backgrounds. Since the course was launched in 2021, we've had over 7,500 7, individuals worldwide to enroll, um, and it continues to be, um, just like I said, an efficient introduction um, for a wide range of educators from first grade literacy teachers all the way through high school science teachers. We want this to be something that anyone um, can come to and get what they need in terms of having a better understanding of how people learn to read. The course is hosted on LearnUpon, um, which is an easy to navigate learning management system. Um, like I said, there's the introduction, the six modules, um, and the wrap up. Each module contains interactives, videos, and downloadable resources that teachers can keep after their access to the course expires. It generally takes 10 to 15 hours to complete, but it is fully self-paced. Um, like Rachel already said, it covers all four components um, of the Pennsylvania Structured Literacy Training Requirements. Teachers can earn up to 15 credit hours, Act 48 credit hours, um, and there are facilitation guides available for groups. So if you have um, a curriculum coordinator or curriculum specialist within your district um, who wants to lead PD for a group of teachers taking the course, we're able to provide facilitation guides. And Rachel can speak a little bit to how IU13 has used those as well. Yeah, I'll be happy to jump in here. Um, a couple things to note, we've been really thrilled with the experience within LearnUpon. It was a new learning management uh, system for us, but we found it to be uh, incredibly intuitive, very interactive, um, and, and the course content really comes to life in that platform. Um, we love the structure of the modules because it's a it's accessible to teachers. It's also in bite-sized chunks. Um, so it's really intended to do where we've found the most success uh, in doing it over the course of several months um, with that added facilitation in there. So that facilitation guide really is a wonderful support um, to be able to provide ongoing uh, conversation and elaboration around what's in the modules. Um, as noted, you can uh, offer Act 48 or award Act 48 credit hours for completion. Um, I think that range of hours can be somewhat intimidating and feels like a lot to bite off. But again, done over uh, time in bite-sized chunks, I think it's really manageable. And we have had districts that have uh, created a year-long journey around this particular course uh, with that added facilitation or embedded uh, professional development and ongoing collaborative conversations. And I'll just add that access to the course is for one year from the date of enrollment, um, but many of the resources from the course can be downloaded so that teachers can continue to have access indefinitely to much of the content within the course. So like I said, each, uh, each module includes videos, interactives, articles, um, downloadable resources. Um, this is just an example of a video from the course introduction. I'll play the first 10 or 20 seconds or so um, just so that you can get a sense of, of what it sounds like. And then after I show these resources, I'll actually go into the course and, and do a demo. Um, Rachel, I just realized I don't think I shared audio when I did the screen share, so I'm going to pull it off and pull it back up. No problem. What if you couldn't read? How would you perceive words if reading wasn't possible? For anything you encountered with words, you would just see a series of symbols with no meaning or purpose. In fact, humans are not meant to read. Our brains did not evolve for reading. Our brains are extraordinarily organized from the time we are very young for speech processing. Same is true for our vision. Reading, on the other hand, is not innate. 
and requires the collective activity of many areas of our brain. Babies already have a sophisticated spoken language and visual system, but to learn to read, our brains must be trained to connect our visual system with our spoken language system, actually changing the way our brain codes phonemes and connects those sounds to meaning. We know this. I'll pause there just so you can get a sense of the quality of the animation um, and the explanations that are included as part of the course. Yeah, and the videos um, and content is is really bite sized. So you can see that was about a four to four and a half minute video. Um, so it's you know the right size to hold people's attention, but really packed with information in a way that uh, I think educators can connect with. Similarly, the infographics. Um, try to strike that balance between being accessible and bite-sized, but including rich content that really helps teachers to understand the frameworks um, and the practices that are discussed in the course. And so these are some examples from the first module. Um, these are all downloadable infographics, meaning that teachers can take PDFs of these, print them, keep them in a folder, hang them in their classroom. Um, these are very much intended to be things that teachers take with them after they complete the course. And then finally, there are interactives in each module that allow teachers to practice um, with the content and get feedback through the course on, on what they're learning. And so this one, and I'll show you what this looks like in the course in just a minute, um, is an interactive on the simple view of reading um, where teachers read short profiles of different students and then have to sort those students into one of the four quadrants based on the information that they have. And as you'll see in the course, they get feedback uh, on whether or not they put the student in the right quadrant based on the information they had. Um, so at, at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and jump us into the course and show you what that looks like. Um, zoom this in just a little bit. Rachel, are you able to see that? Is that large enough? Yep. Yeah, okay, great. Um, so we are here in Learn Upon. Um, we're in the first module of the course. That's the introduction to the science of reading. Uh, at this point in the course, teachers have already learned about the five critical components of reading instruction and the simple view of reading. They're now learning about this idea of the four reading profiles. Um, and so you can see the course outlines first in text what the four profiles are. Um, so we get that text. Then we get some practice um, with meeting uh, students, uh, case study students here. We have a video animation um, that helps to explain in more detail the content that was just presented in the text. And then we get into the activity. So this is what the activity looks like. Teachers would click get started. They get their directions. And then again, we read a profile of a student. And then we can click and drag and place that student into where we think they go based on the information that we have. So let's say, you know, if we make an incorrect choice and we choose strong teacher, uh, strong reader for Dion, we get the feedback, um, specific feedback related to this profile on why the choice was incorrect and we're prompted to try again. This was an example of one of the interactives that during the academy um, experience, we revisited as a whole group and really had rich conversation around and then related that to the students that we're serving and how we can use this quadrant idea uh, to think about and identify the interventions or supports that learners may need based on the quadrants that they're falling within. Absolutely, um, and that's exactly the idea is you learn about it, you practice um, with imaginary students here in the course, you get a better understanding and then you take what you learn and apply it to the students in your classroom. And so again, you can continue going through, there are like five or six examples in here. For each one, there's a different profile um, for each one, there is uh, feedback if you get it incorrect, and then feedback, um, oops, sorry, if you get it correct. And once you complete it, you can always go back and redo. Um, so this is, again, just a really great way to get some interactive practice with the concepts being presented in the course, and each module has at least one interactive like this included. 
So we have all of the information uh, regarding the IU13's partnership agreement with the Hill Learning Center outlined on our website. If you go to iu13.org forward slash SOR, short for science of reading, uh, you can find all of the information about the course, the course content, the partnership that we have with the Hill Learning Center and the special pricing. So Emily, if you can jump over to that website. Sorry. No problem. So you can see here in the blue box uh, on the website that this particular course is available uh, via the Hill Learning Center's website for $150 per person. Um, if you access the course using the inquiry form that's linked there within that blue box as part of the IU13 partnership, uh, the course is available to you at $125 per person if you have up to 24 people. Once you have more than 25 people, you can see there that it's tiered pricing. It'll reduce to $115 per person. Um, and again, as Emily mentioned, you have access to the course for one year, uh, as well as that facilitation guide, which really helps the course to come to life. Um, we have the website organized to help give you additional information about the course. If you scroll down just a little bit, you can see an example of the way that one of our partner districts utilized the course and the structure uh, that they provided um, for educators to complete the course, starting with a kickoff uh, period where they're experiencing some of the course on their own time, then coming together for a back to school professional development session, a half day uh, to really dig deeper into some of those key anchors, Scarborough's Rope and the Reading Brain. And you can see that this is an ongoing structure and really intended to be embedded professional learning over the course of a year uh, where they have opportunities to apply their learning, um, again, in bite-sized chunks uh, over the course of the year with support and facilitation. One of the really exciting things about this partnership is that it also includes access to an additional course that the Hill Center has developed, which is sort of the part two. Uh, so for educators who have already engaged in the Hill Center Science of Reading short course, either on their own or via the IU13 Science of Reading Academy, the framework for structured literacy instruction um, is the second step, if you will, a follow-up course. Um, similarly designed, hosted within Learn Upon, about 10 hours uh, of course content and available at 50% off. So it's actually only $50 uh, a person uh, and is really well done as a next step in digging deeper um, in structured literacy. Thanks, Rachel. And I'll just add, if you, uh, if you are interested in either or both of the courses, when you fill out the inquiry form that's linked here, please do just make sure that you put IU13 in the comments box, um, which is the, the last question that says, please share any additional details. That's how we know um, that you are coming through IU13. If you don't include that there, we may not realize that you found the course um, through IU13. So don't forget that piece. As Emily mentioned early on, if you have specific questions related to this partnership or accessing this course, you are free to reach out to the Hill Learning Center. You can also contact the IU13 Teaching and Learning Collaborative Team uh, for additional guidance and support as it relates to science of reading professional development and this particular um, professional learning opportunity.